Hi, this tutorial is to show you how to do a linear transformation on a list on your calculator. So first you need a list, so I'll click uh, stat1 for list, and the only thing is you have to enter these lists in one of the L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in order for this to work. So for L1 I'm going to enter in the, uh, the distance data from our homework, so I'll do 9, 2, at so once my data is entered, these are all distances in miles. So then I go back up to the top of uh, L1, go over to L2, and now I press enter. And instead of entering the name for L2, we enter what uh, the linear transformation we want to be. So to convert miles to kilometers, you multiply the miles by 1.609. So to do that, I just do second L1 times 1.609. That tells the calculator, take the value that's in L1, multiply it by 1.609, and do that for all these values. So once you do that, you hit enter, and then it automatically does it. So everything has been changed to kilometers. So very easy. Now if you want to do something like temperature, where you have to add something and multiply, you would do it this way. First you have to enter in the temperature data, so I'm going to do that from the homework, 21, 22, etc. So again, once all of the data has been entered into this list, these are the uh, temperatures in Celsius, then I go to L4 and I press enter. And at this point here, I'm going to enter in the linear transformation to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, which is 9 fifths times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So I could do this. I could do um, 9 divided by 5. And actually, I probably want to put that in, uh, in parentheses. So I'll do second insert. So I'll do parentheses here. And... 9 fifths times, now remember the Celsius temperature was L3, so I do second L3 plus 32. And what that's saying is multiply whatever the Celsius temperature was by 9 fifths and then add 32 to it for every value. So I hit enter and it does it for every value and now I've quickly done a linear transformation from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And now it's a list, you can do uh, statistics on it. So you can do stat uh, calc, one variable statistics on uh, was L4 was uh, temperature in Fahrenheit, and then we can get the mean and the standard deviation, five number summary, etc. So it's pretty easy. There you go.